Let's go ahead and get started. We do have a uh, hospital hero we're going to recognize and have Randy do that. And then we'll, we'll start the meeting. Well, I'll tell you, it's my pleasure to, uh, to represent uh, Neil Ginty today. As we told you, Neil is uh, having a survey and he's not with us. But uh, Dr. Bruce Harrington from Lanier County, Lewis Smith Memorial Hospital over on the Lakeland campus has been nominated as the hospital hero. He is one of the uh, unsung heroes uh, in Lanier County. Uh, been in practice there for many years, uh, looking after the citizens of Lakeland and Lanier and surrounding communities and supporting immensely the Lewis Smith Hospital. And we'll begin to thinking of our hero, and he had been on our list, and we want to recognize him today and on behalf of the Lanier Health Services Board over on that campus, as well as this board, we wanted to, to, to recognize you today. And I have a few comments I'd like to make uh, in support of this recognition this morning. I've known Bruce for almost 20, 20 years, years uh, and I remember when I first met Bruce, uh, he was a medical student commuting back and forth um, to uh, Mercer Medical School uh, from his home in Waycross with his family and children and, and back and forth. He actually uh, had been in the Navy. And uh, after doing a stand in the United States Navy and serving our country on uh, nuclear submarines, decided to go back to medical school. And as an older student, commuted back and forth to Valdosta State University from Waycross, Georgia. Stop, I'm told, and this may not be true, so but don't correct me, make it. Mark Peterman uh, was the administrator of Lewis Smith Hospital at the time. And, I'm told that Bruce stopped by and asked, was there any assistance that could be provided to a young, fledgling, uh, next Navy yes. a submariner and medical school? Kind of it, yeah. Kind of <laughs> it. We'll go with that burden. And, uh, <laughs> through a scholarship program that they made available to him, he completed his baccalaureate studies. He actually completed his medical school studies, completed his residence in internal medicine in uh, Mercer in, in Macon, at the Medical Center of Central Georgia, and relocated he and his family to Lakeland, Georgia, where they've been living uh, outside of Lakeland, actually in Berrien County in Ray City. Ray City, yeah. Uh, it's where they, their home Actually, is. my ex-wife is a little further down the road from me now, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 24 miles. <laughs> but just a couple of comments, and then to share that with you, is we don't always recognize our physicians and, and what they mean to these communities, and then part of that is to, is to tell you who he was and how we came to know Bruce. And, uh, Last April, he was part of the response team uh, when the tornado, or April was a year ago, when the tornado hit the uh, Lakeland community. Bruce was on the scene and uh, was there assisting that uh, in the weeks to follow, actually. And, and his office is located in the medical office building, as you know, associated with the hospital. Yeah, there was some rumor about the tornado didn't hit Lakeland. That rumor is not true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it blew the doors open in the ER. Uh, uh, Dr. Harrington makes house calls uh, to his patients. That's a very uh, unused phenomenon. You know, it's cheaper than putting them in an ambulance and bringing them to the hospital. <coughs> in a county that's only got one ambulance, that's kind of, that's difficult. Yeah, uh, but you do it on a motorcycle. I have. I have. <laughs> <laughs> on a regular basis, probably. Uh, man, I the hard part is getting the nurse to ride on the back of the <laughs> He also participates on the hospital board over there as well, in addition to uh, being the chief of staff and the chief of medicine and the chief of surgery. He also is the chief of emergency medicine. He also participates in caring for the residents at Lake Villa Convalescent Center where he has a heavy patient load. Uh, and he really does uh, interact with the citizens uh, throughout the community. Uh, he's known by first name. Uh, he'll answer to anything I'm told, as long as you're going twice for lunch. Just tell, call me late for supper. Yeah, that's right. right. And, um, he's, he's endeared himself to that community, and uh, we just felt at this time to kind of give you a face of, of some of the folks that work over there, and particularly how he has held that medical community together, held a hospital and a nursing home providing medical leadership and others. And we just want to take this opportunity to uh, recognize you as an unsung hero, uh, in, the, in one of our rural communities and acknowledge your service to 
Now, on that community, this hospital board through your service to that hospital. All right. Thanks, Randy. I appreciate it.